educator with the Mountains to Sound Greenway Trust. I'm also an AmeriCorps member with Washington Service Corps. At sites around the country, AmeriCorps members like me serve with organizations addressing food insecurity, education, environmental protection, and other needs to help them reach more people. As an AmeriCorps member with the Greenway, I get to help the Greenway Trust reach more people in the region, and I get to take students out to explore the Greenway and learn about all the amazing natural areas we have to offer through stewardship events and field trips. In our last video, we learned a little bit about salmon habitat and the different species of salmon that live in the Pacific Northwest. And I think you learned a way to remember them on your hand. So let's practice. We have on your thumb, there's the chum. On your pointer finger, the sockeye. On that tallest middle finger, you have the king salmon or the chinook because it's the tallest, the king of the fingers. On your ring finger, the silver or coho salmon because that's where you might wear a silver ring. On your pinky, the pink salmon, which I think is the easiest one to remember. And then if you make a little cup with your hands, a little lake, you have a place where the kokanee salmon would live, the little red fish. Today, I'm here to tell you about the first stage of the salmon life cycle, which is the egg. Salmon eggs are these little orange balls, and I actually have some right here to show you. I'm gonna see if I can bring them nice and close. And these little orange balls right here are salmon eggs. On some of these later developed ones, you can even see those darker spots inside, which are the developing salmon. If you were to feel one of those eggs, they feel really squishy, like jello or like an inflated balloon. All salmon begin their lives as an egg, and spawning salmon lay about three to five thousand eggs in one nest, which we call a red. These salmon eggs need a few things to make sure that they are happy and thriving in their red. Today, we're gonna to talk about some of those things and make a model of a healthy salmon red. So let's start to make our model of a healthy salmon red. First, salmon eggs live in freshwater streams and rivers, and it's important that those streams and rivers be the right shape. A healthy red needs a curved S-shaped stream. A curvy stream is good for salmon eggs, because it makes sure that the water doesn't flow too fast or too slow. Water moving too fast would wash the eggs away, and water moving too slow wouldn't bring the eggs enough oxygen or clean away their wastes. In an S-shaped stream, some areas are fast, like going into these curves, and some areas are slower, like on these bars right here. So there are plenty of options for the best place to make a red. In a straight stream, everything would be the same, and it would all probably be pretty fast. The second thing a healthy red has is a stream bottom that is made of cobble and gravel. Cobbles are rocks about the size of your fist. So these are both cobbles. And gravel are rocks about the size of a pebble. So these much smaller ones are pieces of gravel. They're important in helping the eggs have enough space and oxygen to breathe. When the cobbles and gravels stack up, there are all these little gaps in between where salmon eggs can be tucked away and water can flow. So I'm going to take some paper cobbles and some paper gravel and stick them onto my stream and then tuck some eggs in between so that they're nice and protected. Okay, I've added my cobbles, gravels, and eggs to the stream. And those cobble and gravel also create something really important in the stream called a riffle. The riffle is a part of the water that's disturbed by the large rocks, which causes air bubbles to form, like rapids, but smaller. Do you know what all those bubbles are? They're air from the atmosphere, and that air includes something super important, oxygen. In riffles, those air bubbles help pull oxygen into the water. Those riffles are probably going to form in the slightly faster sections, so I'm going to add them to my stream next. So there are all my riffles. I have the little riffles right here, around my red, and then higher up in the stream. And since they bring oxygen into the water, to remind myself, I'm going to add these little oxygen molecules around all of my riffles. 
All right, so now we have a model of a healthy salmon red. We have our curvy S-shaped stream, our riffles that bring oxygen into the water. We have our gray cobbles and these greenish brown gravels, those medium sized and smaller rocks that the eggs get tucked in between. And we also have our salmon eggs, those three to 5,000 eggs that make up the red. To make your own model of a healthy salmon stream, You'll need a cutout of a stream, so a blue squiggle. You'll need salmon eggs, which I made as red circles, and I wrote the number 1000 on there because I didn't want to make 5000 little circles. So this way I can remember how many I should use to get those three to 5000 eggs in the nest. You'll need some cobble and some gravel. So the cobble is a little bit bigger. I made mine gray, but you can make it the color of any rock and my gravel that's a little bit smaller, and I made mine this brownish green. You'll need some riffles, so just white squiggles cut out of paper, and then some oxygen, and I made my oxygen just by writing O2, or oxygen, onto these little circles. You can make all of these by cutting and coloring in scrap paper. If you want to get extra creative, you could even try repurposing clean recycling and trash like bottle caps, magazine pages of the right colors, or other materials. But if you do that, make sure you clean it first. Glue or tape all of those pieces together so that they model a healthy salmon red. Or just draw one if you don't have those materials on hand. If you'd like, I invite you to share what you created by emailing a photo or description to education at mtsgreenway.org and maybe we'll share it on our Facebook page. Stay tuned to learn more about a healthy salmon habitat and about the next stage of the life cycle, the Alvin. Have fun.